Hello. Today I'm uh, going to tell you about LiveReload.net, which is the tool I've been working on. I'm super excited to show this to you. Uh, it's uh, it lets you do live reloading web development in the browser. So instead of having to use uh, command line tools or you know fire up Node.js or whatever, you can just use your web browser. So uh, let's let's take a look. I'm just going to start with uh, the site here. So if you type re live reload.net into your browser, you'll uh, see this. Um, and you can download the, download the template here. Um, and that'll just give you like a basic HTML um, you know, project. So I've got one here that I'm going to um, start with. Uh, as you can see, there's index.html, main.js. I've got a main2.mjs, which is a module-based um, JavaScript. Uh, style sheet and an uh, icon here. Um, so if we took a, if we take a look, so all I'm going to do is first of all, I'm just going to take this uh, this project, the whole folder, and drag it over onto the uh, web page here. And what happens is it fires it up in your browser. It doesn't actually upload anything or anything like that. Um, it's just running locally on your browser, and it's basically if you modify any of these files, they'll live reload in the uh, in the browser here. So if we take a look at you know, this hello world text. Let's open this up uh, with my note editor, with my text editor, um, and then add some text here, hello world to you. And then when I save that, you can see it just straight away pops up here in the in the browser and, and reloads it. Um, and so this like leads to quite a productive kind of workflow. Now it does have HTML automatically, but it also does it intelligently for CSS styles and JavaScript. So um, if I load up the style sheet, so I'll open that with my text editor. And then let's say I remove this background gradient here. Straight away, you can see it just updates it uh, to be a white background. Um, but maybe I want to put in a red background. Yikes. Um, yeah, so you can basically just tinker around with your um, CSS styles, saving them to your file directly, hitting Control S or whatever, and uh, they update in real time in the browser, so you can like see them see them happening. Now that's CSS and HTML there, um, intelligently live reloading, uh, and of course when you're re live reloading the CSS here, it doesn't refresh the whole HTML page. So you know if you've like got some interface where you've change something you've you've got say a uh, to-do list and you've added some to-dos it's not going to blow away your whole state when you just save the css so now what about javascript if we click on this press me we get an alert that says hello world um, and we can also edit the javascript and just like with the css when you change the javascript hello world to you and save it it's refreshed that here but it hasn't refreshed the index.html so you you can retain the state of your app uh, and as you can see the message there has updated to what i changed it to um, and we put like an alert here ping we'll save that one and straight away we see the ping so yeah i mean this uh, will hopefully help you with developing sites without having to rely on like build systems and stuff like that if you're just trying to put together some very quick HTML, CSS, JavaScript based um, web page or web app. Uh, hopefully this is a, a fast way to do it. So all you have to do is just drag your folder containing your HTML, CSS and JavaScript over onto the live reload.net web page and it will um, load it for you. It's also got this built in refresh button that you can uh, hit there to refresh the whole page. So yeah, I hope that's useful for you. Um, if you find it useful, please share it around and tell people about it. Um, because I'd like to spread the word on uh, this new utility I made. Thank you very much for listening, and uh, have a great day. See ya.